Welcome back. Five Minute Kitchen. My name is Denise Kashyap. Behind the camera, Bob Friedrich. We, actually, it's a twin project. He and me together. And you know, magic. This entire show started with two of us together. What are we going to cook today? What do we got? What's okay, the recipe? What we've got today is Rice Noodle Supreme. It's one of those incredible dishes that you will love to enjoy cooking and eating. It is incredible. And it will all happen in five minutes. Three tablespoons of uh, oil. This is canola oil. And I'm going to just put it in there. Heat up. It has to be very hot because the only spice I'm going to use is one. And this is the mustard. You will see it will start cracking. It needs to be very hot. See that it's already sizzling. And within a second it's going to start crackling. And the crackling is the time when it releases the flavors. Because remember the food is all about flavors and the flavors are not released. <laughs> Just like coffee, you know, the coffee bean, the green bean has got no flavor at all, no smell at all, no aroma at all. But the moment you roast it to the right temperature, the whole thing is released. And this is what is happening here. So I'm just waiting for the crackling of mustard. So what else have you got here? What are your other ingredients? Tell us what you got. Okay. The other ingredients are, I I'm, I'm, I'm put them all in smaller sizes. I cut them up into smaller things. One is the red pepper. You know, this is, this is like the nut hot red pepper. And this is the other thing. The uh, broccoli, cut into small pieces. And then you've got the uh, um, mushrooms cut into small pieces. Uh, this is um, sour cream they're going to use at the very end. This is coconut milk. And we're going to use, this is one of the magic ingredients. And uh, little shavings of uh, um, carrots and uh, cilantro. And you got some tomatoes over here too, or tomato. And I do have some, yes. I forgot to tell you that I've got some tomatoes. So that thing's popping. Let's have a look at that stuff now. Just We'll just see what's happening there. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, they're really going. So, so it really goes all over the place and that's the reason we, we, we close it. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, I've got these onions. It's about half a cup, if you will, you know. Red onions. Red onions. And remember, the red onions are the ones which have got the flavor. So I won't use any other kind. That's what really makes a difference is that it is the aroma of uh, red onions uh, made into a golden color. So that's what you're going to see now. I'm just going to start. So once again, you don't have to make it very fine. It doesn't have to be ground into a paste or something like that. And uh, the other ingredient that went into it was garlic. I had three cloves of garlic and... Uh, oh, three cloves of garlic in here? That's right. Okay. So they've gone in and now I'm going to just put them in the... Done. Nice. And now... So what do we call this recipe again? Uh, this is rice noodle supreme. So is there any sort of... Uh, what's the history of this dish? Is Actually, you know, this... Uh, as you know, uh, in the Chinese cooking, there is a lot of a lot of rice noodles and things like that. But the thing is, in Indian cooking, it's not used a great deal. So here we've got a new recipe, a new thing, which probably. Uh, so we're grabbing from two cultures. One is uh, the, the, Chinese. the Chinese culture, and what's the Indian part of it then? The spices. The, the spices, because the Chinese use a different kind of spices altogether, you know, and that's what makes it different. But you will find it's very. It doesn't take too long to cook, and. Uh, and you'll find it is extremely uh, aromatic. It is very tasty. So here are the, uh, I've taken these uh, these um, uh, tomatoes from can. Now I'll tell you one of the secrets about tomatoes. In winter, don't use fresh tomatoes. And there is a reason for it. You know, these tomatoes were picked when they were green. They probably took three months to get here, for all I know, because they, they don't come by air, you know? They come by, so it, it probably took them three months to get here. Guess what? I mean, tomatoes, green tomatoes, artificially made into red tomatoes, they're no good. They don't carry any of that beautiful. Tomato is, one, is, is like a fruit, you know. You've got to have the tomatoes when they're ripe on the wine. And sometimes, you know, they, they trick you. They, they cut the wine and set it and say, uh, tomato on the wine. But guess what? When it was picked, it was green. Doesn't have to be heated a great deal. And 
these are Roma tomatoes, by the way, the, the little ones with, the, you know, the longish looking tomatoes, and they are very, very nice in taste. They carry, they're used in Italian cooking a lot, but, uh, but, but, but remember, you know, they've got, they've got a beautiful taste. So, uh, this is done now. This is, uh, uh, now I'm just going to add the other ingredients. And I'm not going to worry, all of them will be added together. Here go the uh, things and... Uh, so what's that? That's the carrots there, That's right? the carrots. Shavings of carrots. So then they take a short So which part time. is the Indian part? Which is the, the, the rice is actually the Chinese part, huh? Uh, actually, the rice noodle is oh, used rice in noodle. India as well. Okay. But, but the rice noodle is, uh, is, is definitely you know, Chinese. You know, they use it much more than in Indian cooking. So if you were to say this, what part of India would you give uh, credit to most of this dish from? I would say from South India because this mustard is used mostly in the South. It's not used too much in the North. So I would give it, now I'm going to add the, this is uh, uh, coconut milk. Ooh. You can buy it in the store. It's very exciting to add and you will see the taste. Because you find that in India, coconut milk? Is that something uh, that the you're Coconut throwing? milk is again from Thai cooking. Oh, from so Thai cooking. Yes. Yeah. So it really is coming from different sources. And Here. the Thai cooking uses a lot of that coconut milk. So this is a Southeast Asian kind of dish. And it is a fusion dish, if you will, you know. I like that very word fusion. Tasty, very tasty. Now I'm going to close it with a lid because that will let it cook for a few seconds. You know, we don't want to cook it too long. But now I'm going to move on to the noodles. I just boil it. And I'm going to, and here is the noodle. I just took some of those. And these are called rice sticks. And they're cheap like borscht. I mean, they're really cheap. You can buy a lot just for two, three dollars. So, I mean, this is not really a good, great dish, but it's not an expensive dish. So here it is. I'm going to just put the boiling water on this. They're thin. And I'm going to, and I'm going to immerse it just for a few seconds. And remember, because they're so thin, it doesn't take too long to cook them. So that's what is happening here. And now I'm going to just mix it all up so that uh, yeah, all the noodles get the hot water treatment, if you will. And it, uh, and you can almost see, you know, when, you, when the cooking is... Uh, they're paper complete, thin. They're paper, yeah, they're thin. paper thin. And you will see as soon as the, uh, uh, the cooking is complete, uh, they will fall, you know, fall into a, you, you know, lose their shape. The shape that they are in, you know, originally, which is, uh, you can all, all already see changing shape, you know? Gorgeous. Woo! Sorry. <laughs> so it is boiling water, and all it takes is like a like a minute or so. That's all. And uh, you can see it uh, is already taking shape. Uh, it, it will crumble into uh, into a non-shape, if you will, like a ball, you know. And as soon as it is done, I'm going to add it to that, and we are we are ready to eat. That did we, not take long at all. So so, so what's the title of our dish again? It is uh, rice uh, noodle. Supreme. It's already cooking here, and I'm going to drop it into this. There it is. That and looks now, good. And now it is just a question of mixing it all up. And, they, and, and you know, it's already beginning to take shape. It's got that, uh, that pinkish taste. Is it, is it going to be a hot dish or a medium no, dish? No, no, it's not hot at all. It's not hot it's to going taste. To be, it's going to be, uh, yeah, physically hot. <laughs> But in terms of eating, it won't be hard at all. So let's go through the ingredients one more time. What have we got in and here? Before that, I'm just going to add a few more ingredients here oh, that you've got. Okay. And this is uh, sour cream. And oh, okay. That. So we got sour cream. And this, let's say, uh, two large tables, two tablespoons of, uh, of sour cream. Mm. Just to top it up. And, and the last ingredient, don't forget, is always uh, salt. So salt is here, and I'm going to take a few... Uh, just a pinch of salt and add it to this dish. There it is. There is a salt. Just ordinary table salt and uh, fine ground. Just the regular table salt that you get. And here it is. It's done. We're not going to. Uh, we're not going to heat it anymore. This is this is complete. So this is something you could make for the kids at lunch if you really wanted to. Exactly. Exactly. And very tasty. So I'm going to put it in the plate and. Uh, there, there we is. go. He's going to plate it for us. Looks nice. Yes, it does. Still one together, but that's okay. Here you got it. And now, the final part, remember? 
till the cilantro is on top of it, it's not done. So I'm going to put the cilantro because this is this is very much Indian cooking now. Because the moment you put cilantro, which has got an incredible aroma and flavor, now you got the real taste. So here it is, complete in five minutes. The rice noodle supreme. Thank you, thank you for being with us. Thank you all. Appreciate uh, the camera work that you've done for this. Thank you. Mmm. Love the noodles. Wow, what a flavor. Can't go wrong.